What is going on YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. Uh, stick with us, you're running through all the basics here. Should be flying through all the basics here. Um, getting ready for the good stuff, machine learning and AI. App development, uh, web development. Um, we're gonna be hacking Alexa. Uh, a lot of fun crap coming up. So let's jump into it, shall we? Uh, so first off, we're on exercise number nine today. I've already right clicked on number nine in PyCharm. Bring it up the window, already ran through it here. I have my code, the execution of the code down below. And then on the right, of course, we have our debugger waiting for us to debug. So let's get to it without further ado. X equals five. So the variable X now creates input five. Variable Y has an input eight. So of course we have five and eight. If X is greater than Y colon print the string X is greater than Y. So if that's true, it will print it. So is X greater than Y? Well, we know it's not, but let's see what happens. So I'm gonna F8 it, and it skipped right over it. That was pretty rude. Um, but of course, that was appropriate because the code was false. So skip it, go to the next line of code that you can execute. If X is less than Y, print X is less than Y. And then we have our new line character there to, to print a new line. So I'm going to F8 through that. And of course, after we get through that line, of course, it was true. X is less than Y, so it ran through that function. Um, then we have while X is less than Y, so we know it is less than Y, so that's true. Print X is less than Y. X equals X plus one. Now that was that's the same as X equals, we also could have wrote this as X plus minus, I'm sorry, plus equals one. Uh, and that would have been the same exact thing as this here. Uh, one, this is older, and I the, the plus equals or minus equals, greater equals, less equals is, is going to be uh, the, the, the newer syntax. So we have x is less than y. Still running through the code here. Now my y variable and the x variable are going to be updated. So x is less than y. So we're still 5, 8. And what happens? Bam, x just got changed to 6 in the computer's memory. So now six is less than eight, that is true. So we'll print that X is less than Y. X goes from six to seven. Now seven is less than eight, that is true. So we can print because it's true. And now X is going to go to eight. Eight is less than eight? No, it's not. It's not, it's equal to, it's not. If I put equal to, it would have ran it. And then I would have four instead of three X is less than. So what does the Python do? It then goes, it got a false, X is not less than eight, so that's false. So run to the next line of code that it can execute via annotation. So printing a new line. Now we have three new variables that we can see. Let me bring this down for you. So X equals five, Y equals eight, Z equals three. Now, because I moved this down, somebody might be going, oh, it's broken. It's, I don't see the X and the Y. Well, if I scroll back to the top, they were up here. The variables are up there. And, Memory location isn't even in this screen or in Python. It's it's in the RAM, but um, it's still there. So 5, 8, Z is 3, and they will update accordingly. If Z is less than X and X is less than Y, so let's look. Is, is it going to be true or false? While X, whoop, X is less than Z, eh, and X is less than Y, that's true. Print, now we are comparing three variables. So I'm going to do, 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 do F8 through that. Now we are compa comparing three variables. Z is less than X, three is less than five. That's true. One second. Tessa, shush. Three is less than five. That's true. Five is less than eight. That's true. So true statement, we print it out. Now what I want to show you here is do, 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 copy. Let's bring this up, control V it, enter. Python basic operators. So um, you can grab that link, it's gonna be in the code, of course, so you can always look at it. This is just uh, for basic people who wanted to know different Python arithmetic operators or any kind of arithmetic operators. This is how Python, <coughs> excuse me, utilizes them. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, which you already know, exponent, floor division. Floor division just means make it clean. Get what I don't want a remainder. So if it's five divided by two, don't give me 2.5, just give me two. Just wants the whole number. Python comparison operators, we have equals equals. Remember, it's a matter of, of, uh, of equality, not assignment. 
Um, and then exclamation equals means not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, and so forth. Uh, and just running through all of this, you saw this already. Add end. So x plus equals 1 means x equals x plus 1. So we do that when we're doing different iterations. You can do the same thing with multiplication, exponents, floor division, uh, and all that fun stuff. So I just want to throw that resource out there uh, so everyone has it as well if you wanted to play with it and do different, different variables. So f ing through. If x is greater than y, well, last x was 5 and y is 8. So that is false. So else print x is not greater. So I should get x is not greater. And it didn't go back because I didn't tell it to. I didn't, sorry. Tessa, shush. I, I didn't tell it to. It, we didn't put any other kind of condition in here. We just said if x is greater than y. We didn't, we didn't have a count. We didn't have any kind of iteration that would go back to the loop. So now I have x greater than y. Print. I'm just popular today. Elif x is less than 100. Print this else print x is not greater so here i have three potentials so x and y so we have five and eight so if five is greater than eight false print x is greater that's not true so we're gonna it's gonna skip that it's gonna jump to else if x is less than 100 well five is less than 100 that's true print it is not greater than 100 so that's true so it's gonna stop there so we're gonna get it is not greater than 100 it's not even going to look at this last part of the code here. That's that's what's very important. It's not even going to get there. So when you're when you're developing code, sorry, type A personality. I don't like those things down there at the bottom. If, if you if you have if you're creating a for loop or a while loop or if loop and you need it to go through particular iterations, you want it to go through certain steps. You have to remember that once it hits true, it stops. So if you have multiple trues. You can have multiple loops and indentations. You can have multiple criteria that can be met if you have three or four variables that you want to all be met true to get true. Um, we can be using ends and ors. Uh, we'll get into those logic tables another time. Because um, in order to have everything true, you can use ends. And then if you have four conditions, end, 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 then it will only print that particular piece. It will only execute that function of code if all the ends are met. Uh, but if you have ors, you can only get false if all of them are, are, are going to be false. So that's all just a, a, a matter of logic tables and so forth. But just know that when you're doing your code, you could have a million ifs or part of your while loops, or your for statements, a million different conditions to be met. But once you hit a true, it stops and it does whatever it had to do. And then it's going to go to the next ex executable line outside of that loop. That loop is going to cease once it hits a true. So again, go to the website, cupofcode01.com, grab the code. This is exercise number nine, I believe. Um, take the code, play with it, break it, fix it, uh, expand upon it, and come back for the next lesson. I'll see you all later. Take it easy.